Hi, I'm Roberta Burns from the Division for Air Quality. Uh, I do environmental education and outreach for the division. And I'm also a person with asthma. I have been thinking a lot about how I can improve my indoor air quality. Uh, last summer, I went out and bought a rather expensive indoor air quality uh, purifier uh, with filters and all of that. And then I found out you can build these things for less than a hundred bucks. So today I am going to attempt to do just that. I am going to build something called a Corsi Rosenthal air filter or air purifier. Sometimes it's just called a Corsi Rosenthal box. And all it is is a simple box fan, which I had lying around, four air filters uh, rated MERV 13 and a little bit of tape, uh, duct tape, because duct tape fixes everything, right? And a box cutter and a Sharpie, and that's just about it. So, first thing I need to do is take my four air filters, and the air filters um, tell you the direction of the airflow that it's supposed to be. They have a little arrow on the side. And what we're gonna do is we wanna make sure that the air is gonna flow into the box, so we want these arrows pointing inward. And I need to arrange these on a cardboard base that I've already cut out to be about the same size as these filters. And this is a little tricky, but I'm gonna do it myself just to s prove that I can. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is put a little piece of tape. Um, on the corners to hold them together. All right, I actually don't need this down here. I'm gonna put that on top in a minute. All right, another piece of tape on the side. These are 20 inch um, filters and one inch thick. You could spend more money and get a thicker filter. It would last you longer. But um, I bought a, a pack of four for just under $50. We're just going to do a, a rough cube here to start. Outside, so that's going to go in. These filters should last anywhere from three to six months. You know, if you're only operating it intermittently, then it can last longer. All right, so we've got our cube, and this piece of cardboard measured ahead of time. I actually cut this out of the box that the, uh, that the filters came in, so nothing was wasted. It's ultimately going to be the base of the uh, contraption, but I'm going to go ahead and it's much easier to tape it while it's on top. Again, I'm just going to anchor it first to make sure everything is the way I want it. A little overhang there, but that's okay. Okay. All right, before I do a final massive tape job. I just want to make sure that this actually is going to fit with the fan on top. And before I put the fan on, double check that my arrows are pointing in. Good. I need to check the airflow on the fan. So the air is coming out in this direction. I'm going to draw an arrow to show that is the direction of airflow. So we want this arrow to be pointing up so that the fan pulls the air through the cube. And it looks pretty good. A little bit of a gap on the corners because my fan is curved, but never fear. What I'm gonna have to do is probably cover those corners up with a little bit of cardboard. So I'm gonna take some of my leftover box 
and um, cut myself some corners. Looks like I just need a little square in each corner. So um, air purifiers are measured um, a lot of times by, uh, by an acronym, C-A-D-R, which means, um, I think it means clean air delivery rate. And this one has, uh, has been tested um, by people who have built it to have a clean air delivery rate of 600 which is enough for a, a good size room, certainly for uh, a typical school classroom um, or a bedroom, uh, if you have a, a good size bedroom uh, or living room. Okay, so I feel pretty good about this. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna really give it some good tape. All right, just about there. Of course, indoor air quality is not regulated by, by anyone, <coughs> except uh, there are some indoor air quality standards in, in California and New Jersey, apparently. But there are really no health-based standards at the federal or the state level here in Kentucky uh, for how clean the indoor air should be. And so, you know, if you were to go to an allergist or an asthma doctor, they would say, well, the most important thing is to try to control the source. Try to get rid of as many sources of, of indoor air pollutants as possible. And uh, after that, then you want to make sure things like your, your HVAC system is working properly. It's got good, clean filters drip pans are draining properly so you don't have any moisture problems that might attract mold. All right. And then finally, air cleaners like this. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I am going to go ahead and plug this in just to make sure that I did mark that fan correctly and things are moving the way they should. All right, let's see. Yes, okay. All right, so I think everything is the way it should be. So the last step is going to be to tape this fan in place. The last step is the shroud is what they call it. And this is um, it's just a little piece of cardboard that I cut out. Now I know that my fan and my filters are, are 20 inch um, size. So I, um, I measured a 20 inch square of cardboard and I cut a circle out of it. That's the same diameter as the fan. Um, and the reason for this is because the, the fan is a box shape. And so there are these little spaces in the corners where um, air will actually get pulled into the corners and then pushed out. So it makes the fan less efficient. And, um, and so the shroud, uh, after doing some testing, uh, the people who developed this design realize that a shroud or a cover for the corners would be a really good idea to help improve the fan's efficiency. So that's, that's what this is. It's like a mask. All right, I think I've sealed this thing up. When this is turned on, the air will be pulled through the filters and it will come out the top and um, we'll cycle the air in a typical sort of classroom size room. Um, you'll get a complete cycling of the air about three times in an hour from what I've read. 
Um, of course, it depends on the speed of the fan. This is a three-speed fan. But even at high speed right now, it's really not that loud. And let me just make sure I don't feel anything else yet. So the air, you can't really see, but it's, it is being pulled through all four of these filters and then coming out the top. So after all of that, maybe 45 minutes or so, it was a super easy project. If you've got a little bit of time on a weekend, I hope you'll give it a try too. Thanks for watching.